Hi everyone, I'm delighted to be introducing you to the all new GCMA accreditation. GCMA accreditation is a flexible, inclusive and rewarding accreditation pathway designed to capture you and your value to the industry. This is about your skills, your achievements, your development. This is your accreditation. GCMA accreditation has been designed to be accessible, to be inclusive, to be flexible, aspirational and credible. It's accessible, it's open to any member of the GCMA who is in an active role within golf club management. It's inclusive, it's designed to capture and recognise the wide range of backgrounds, skills, knowledge, experience, learning and qualifications that all contribute towards becoming and being a successful golf club manager. And it's flexible. GCMA accreditation isn't limited to any one set of, or series of qualifications. Recognition is given to a balance of experience, skills and knowledge, along with qualifications and ongoing commitment to professional and personal development. It's aspirational. GCMA accreditation provides a clear and achievable pathway for developing your skills, your knowledge and your career opportunities. And it's credible. GCMA accreditation is based on existing best practice and comparable industry standards in CPD, career pathways and accreditation frameworks. So why should you become GCMA accredited? Well, when applying for jobs, it will differentiate you from other candidates. It demonstrates that you keep your knowledge and skills up to date through continuous learning and development. And it demonstrates an eagerness to learn and continues to indicate your future potential. It also provides recognition of your existing skills, knowledge and achievements in the industry by your peers, your employers and your and golf clubs. And it's there to capture the value that you as a professional experienced and knowledgeable golf club manager bring to golf clubs and bring to the industry as a whole. So how GCMA accreditation works? Well, there's three key sections to the application process. The first one is your career history, a summary of your roles within the golf industry and golf club management. The second is an up-to-date record of all of your learning, your development and your qualifications, along with evidence of ongoing commitment to professional and personal development. And thirdly, a summary of your knowledge, your responsibilities and achievements in golf club management using our professional practice standards. There are four levels of GCMA accreditation available. Firstly, GCMA Aspiring Manager is available to any affiliate or full member of the GCMA. We recommend this for anyone employed in a management position within a golf club who might be a department head, a deputy manager or a new golf club manager with aspirations for career progression and professional development. GCMA accredited manager level one is suitable for anyone employed in a position of golf club management, normally at a small or medium sized club, able to demonstrate the effective management of a golf club and normally with a minimum of three years experience within the industry. Level two, is for those that are highly proficient and knowledgeable in golf club management, normally at a medium or larger size club, and normally with a minimum of five years experience within the industry. And level three is for recognizing those that are highly experienced and accomplished in golf club management, able to demonstrate continued success at a medium or larger size club, and normally with a minimum of 10 years experience in the industry. I'm really excited to announce as well that from 2025, we'll be opening up applications for our GCMA Master Manager status. And this is available to those that have shown at least three years commitment to the GCMA accreditation program, and also able to demonstrate outstanding leadership and contribution to the golf industry and within the industry as a whole. So GCMA accreditation is about your experience combined with your skills, knowledge and achievements and your professional and personal development to give you your GCMA accreditation. 
So just going on to our website, we've got a dedicated landing page for GCMA accreditation. And there's a huge range of resources here providing you with all of the information you need in order to fully understand the accreditation program, find out more and start working on your application. So we've got an overview document here. We've got a CPD points guide, the accreditation levels guide, which provides you with a walkthrough for each of the four levels and the evidence that you'll need to provide in order to apply and identify which one of those levels is most suitable for you. An FAQs document, so we've covered as much information as we can here, so hopefully any questions that you have will be found in the FAQs document, but of course if it's not, please just come and speak to us and I'm sure we'll be able to help. And then here is the link to start your application. So once you've hit the link, it will take you through to the dedicated online accreditation application form. And this can be found within the members hub of the GCMA website. So this is contained within your own personal login and this is your own live application form. So just walking you through the application form, there are four key sections here. First one is personal details. Secondly, your career history. Thirdly, your skills, knowledge, experience and achievements, which is mapped into our professional practice standards. And then your qualifications and CPD. Just a few notes here just to help you through your application in the first instance. So before starting work on your application, it's really important that you take time to understand the criteria required for each of the accreditation levels. And in order to do that, we recommend that you look through the accreditation levels qualification criteria guide, which can be found with using this link here. Secondly, we really recommend that you understand the accreditation CPD points model, and there's a link here to take you through to that. And that will show you how you can calculate all of your qualifications, your prior learning, your professional and personal development in order to map that into the qualifications and CPD section of the form. And we also really advise that you maintain a copy of the details that you're submitting in your application form on a separate document. As great as technology is, you never know what might happen, so it's always useful having a second copy that you're able to save on your own laptop or PC. We also really recommend hitting save and continue regularly throughout the process of completing your application. And that can be found here on the bottom left of the form. You don't have to submit your application all in one sitting. As long as you continually save the document, you can continue to return to it at a later date and, and work on your application form over a number of days or weeks. There's a lot of information to put in here, so we don't expect you to do this all in one sitting. Of course, if you've got any questions about your application at all, please email us accreditation at gcma.org.uk or give us a call 01275. 391153. Applications are open from the 1st of September to the 31st of October 2022, but you can start work on your application straight away. If you miss this first window, we'll then be reopening for applications again in May 2023, and there will then be an annual renewal process from May 2024 onwards. So the first section here is quite straightforward. Uh, a few of your personal details, just to identify yourself, the date of your submission, and then you will need to select the accreditation category that you're looking to apply for. And as I said, the um, important thing is here is to understand which of those levels are most suitable to you. Once you've done that, you can then accurately identify one of those four levels. And at the bottom here, we do ask for two references as part of your application. So you click on add reference and then you can just simply add the details in there for a reference, just like you would for a job application. We normally ask that at least one of those, uh, one of those references is a current employer. We then take you through to the career history tab. So again, like completing or updating your CV, we would ask you to provide a full history 
of your current and previous employments in the golf industry. And you can quite simply add as many as of those as you like. Taking you on to the skills, knowledge, experience and achievements tab. And this is in five sections, which we call the professional practice standards matrix. And those all contribute to what we believe are the key skills, knowledge and uh, ex achievements and, and experiences required to be a successful golf club manager. So we've got service delivery, people and leadership, business, finance and strategy, compliance and risk management, and then finally golf and hospitality. Now, depending on which of the levels that you're looking to apply for, that will then map out for you in the application form the categories that you need to complete details for. So in that particular instance, that was accredited manager level three, but let's just say, for example, we were applying for the aspiring manager category. You go back into the skills, knowledge and achievements tab. And as you can see, the form has map that out for you, the categories that we'd be looking for you to evidence for that particular level of accreditation. And then onto the qualifications and CPD tab. Once you've um, got to understand the CPD calculator, the CPD model, I recommend that you have that in front of you in order to help you through this section. This is mapped into three key areas of learning and development. We've got qualifications and certificates, active learning, and then passive learning. And in each category, we have GCMA endorsed activity and GCMA non-endorsed activity. And using the CPD guide document, you'll be able to identify what we classify as GCMA endorsed and what we don't. Now you don't have to evidence every category here. So we're not necessarily looking for you to complete something in every section. If everything that you've done is about qualifications and certificates, then that's where you complete your CPD section of your application form. Or if you tend to learn through sort of more active informal learning, you would look to complete this category. And indeed passive learning is in there for you as well. Indeed, if your CPD and your personal professional development is more balanced, then you'd look to complete something in every section. But we're trying to make this as open and flexible as possible. So let's just, as an example, add something into here under qualifications and certificates. So I'd hit add entry. So let's just put a degree in here. So a BA honours degree in business studies, as an example delivered by, let's say, Bristol University. Now, which of the relevant professional practice standards was this particular degree covering? So any professional personal development that you're evidencing within your application should map into one of those relevant points, the point towards golf club management. So let's say people and leadership, business finance and strategy and compliance and risk management are all covered in a business studies degree. You would add in the dates that you completed your degree, the number of total hours, and then the CPD points, again, using the CPD points calculator. And now I know that using that calculator, that degree would be worth 40 points. I would then add my entry, and that's come in here. So I've got 40 points for my degree. Once you've mapped out all of your qualifications and certificates, you would add this into the subtotal here, so 40 points, and then have a look at your active learning. So let's just add an example under our active learning. So let's say that you attended the GCMA conference in 2021, delivered by the GCMA. Now, what did we cover there? We covered people and leadership, and no doubt we covered business, finance, and strategy. And I think it's fair to say golf and hospitality as well. You put in the dates there. Now the total number of hours, it's two days of active learning. So let's say that's 16 hours. Now each hour of endorsed active learning 
is worth two CPD points, so that's 32 total points. I'd add in my entry, and as you can see there, that's now filed under active learning. Once I've added up all of my active learning, I would put that into the active learning subtotal, so so far I've got 32. And then I'd look at passive learning as well. So let's say, for example, under passive learning, I've recently uh, listened to a business podcast. So let's say, for example, it was a diary of the CEO of the CEO podcast, and that was a section on people and leadership. The date that I listened to that podcast, total hours is one, and as it's non-endorsed passive learning, that's worth half a CPD point. I would add my entry in there. Again, add in my passive learning total. So, so far, 0.5. And as you can see here at the bottom, that will then provide you with an auto calculate for your total number of CPD hours. Now it's worth just noting and referring back to the CPD calculator because that will tell you how many CPD hours you're going to need to evidence. Firstly, in order to apply, and then in terms of your annual renewal. So don't forget to hit save and continue later. And then once you're ready to submit your application form, hit submit. That will come through to us at GCMA HQ and we're committed to coming back to you within 60 days to hopefully award you with your GCMA accreditation. So GCMA accreditation, it's about your experience, your skills, knowledge and achievements and your ongoing commitment to professional and personal development. We're really excited to be bringing this to you and really looking forward to supporting you with your application process and celebrating your success and your GCMA accreditation. We are going to be running a series of online workshops. So if you've got any questions at all about accreditation, or if you'd like help with your application, please come and drop into one of those workshops and we'll really look forward to seeing you there. The dates and links for those workshops can be found within member communications and on the accreditation section of the GCMA website. If you've got any questions at all, please feel free to drop us a line, accreditation at gcma.org.uk or give us a call 01275 391 153. We're really looking forward to supporting you and working with you on your GCMA accreditation. All the very best of luck and thanks for getting involved.